One Man in the Wild here today to do a review on the Nightingale Cottontail and the Buck Gardener Raspy Rabbit Cottontail and Jackrabbit. Distress. Uh, both of these calls are open and closed read calls, as you can see. Uh, this one I find a bit too low pitch for my liking. Uh, the Buck Gardener has to be one of the most customizable calls I have. Uh, you can play with the reed, you can move, there's a piece inside the reed that goes on top of this reed. Uh, it's the same kind of material. You can take it and move it back and once you move it back it makes it deeper or you can move it ahead and it makes it louder. Uh, all different sorts of stuff. You can take it apart, clean it. It's easy to clean. Uh, like I said, open read and close read. And this one is very loud for if you're in the hills and stuff. This is the call that I recommend. Uh, this one right here, the Night and Hail. I bought this at Walmart for ten dollars. Uh, this one I bought at Barnes of Sporting Goods for thirty, which is all right considering you can get the Triple Threat pack, which is this one, the Buck Gardner Raspy Rabbit, and the uh, coaxer which is a clear it's clear like a silver color it's not gold on the bottom like that uh, and you can get an electronic collar with it uh, that's called the triple threat pack you can buy them on eBay for I think 30 bucks so whatever I kinda wasted a bit of money on that but I didn't want to order it off the internet I wanted it right away uh, I'll let you hear what this one sounds like it's more of a, a deeper tone pitch That's close read. Now if you open up the read, what I don't like about this is the tone board. The tone board right here is actually like a piece of metal. And to me, I don't know, it, it probably won't freeze as much as this one will in colder temperatures, but I don't know, there's just something that I do not do not like about it. Uh, it just feels cheap and flimsy. Uh, I'll let you hear what it sounds like now, just on the reed board, on the tone board. It is an alright call. For 10 bucks, I can't complain. I don't know how much they go for online. I never really done no research on this call. Uh, this Buck Gardner Predator call, I haven't seen a review on it yet. That's why I'd like to do one because it's really actually a good call. Uh, you can take it, use it like this, which is a deeper, I don't know, I guess you would say the raspy rabbit portion of it with the open read or closed read. Uh, when you take it out and go on the tone board, the higher or the lower you go on the tone board, the lower the pitch, the higher you go on the tone board, the higher the pitch. Uh, there's also a hole right here and if you stick your finger on it like so when you're calling as you're as you're coming to the end of your call slowly let off your finger and it makes it gives it like a like an extra added squeal to it. It makes it makes a sound completely different. Uh, I'll just let you hear it with the close read first. Now I'll open it up and show you on the tone board. I'll go lower first so you can hear the the lower pitch pretty much sounds like this with the close read. Uh, except you can you can kind of come back and go forwards on the tone board. Now uh, I'll go higher on the tone board, and you can do yips and kai eyes and all that kind of stuff.
Now, with this hole right here, you have to kind of get used to the call with the hole. Uh, I've used it enough now to say that, yeah, I am used to it. I got comfortable with this call. I don't think I'd switch over to any other call. Uh, it is, you can take it apart, you can break it down, which is very easy. You just haul this piece off. You can clean all the insides of it all. I usually wash it out with just soap and water, hot water. Uh, I take my tone board out, take this plastic piece off, which on the bottom, if I can get it on the screen, there's that plastic piece I was talking about. That's another part of the reed. That comes off. And you can just slide it up and down. See how it moves? Uh, you can reverse it. You can do all kinds of stuff with it just to get that different kind of pitch. Maybe if the call ain't working for you, then you can get that different kind of pitch, right? Uh, I'll put that down. I'll separate that. I'll take that call off to the side. Now, here's your reed itself. Uh, it's only a thin piece of plastic. I don't know what kind of I don't know what kind of plastic the the reeds are made out of. Uh, personally, myself, I can make my own calls with just uh, like calendar books and stuff with the hard plastic on the covers. Uh, inside here, fairly easy to access. Just take a toothpick or uh, a Q-tip and just slide it down through, and you'll clean it right out. Your tone board, just take it and put it in some water and wipe it down. Uh, very easy to clean. Very easy to put back together. Uh, Buck Gardner done more than an outstanding job on it. Uh, there's that little plastic piece right there that goes underneath uh, the clip. Uh, myself, I just put it back to the way it was, the way it comes stock. That's good enough for me. I tampered with it a bit and I didn't like what I got, so it wasn't really producing much, uh, many animals, so. I'll put it back together now, just so you all can see how easy it is to come apart and go back together. This has to go a certain way. The thick end has to, that has to be reversed. The thick end has to be stuck out this way. So when you push it in to the, into the mouthpiece, it sticks. So it doesn't come loose on you and fall out. Now you just take your reed, stick your reed right into these little clips here. There's little clips where you stick your reed. You can pull your reed back or leave it out. doesn't matter. Wrong way again. Just hold it all together like that. Slide the piece in and then just push on that little plastic piece. And then you want to align it with the hole because the call, the whole portion of the call goes down here. So you just want to take it and turn it until that slot lines up with the hole. And it's just as easy as that. Once you make coyotes and foxes aware of the calls that you are making, after a while, if you take shots at a fox or a coyote, you scare them around, and you're using these calls to draw them in, lure them in, uh, they do get wise to the calls. On the Buck Gardener also, I have called in a fox to 150 yards. The main benefit of using hand calls, although it is hard to get used to, but once you get it down, I mean, it's pretty easy. But the main thing about hand calls that I like is the distance that you can get. You could probably call something in from a mile away. If you're in the hills, these things are awesome. Now, in the prairies, it might be a different story, but in the hills, these things echo. Like, it hurts your ears when you blow these things. This is One Man in the Wild. Thanks for tuning in, watching my review. Hope you leave a few comments. Let me know what you think. The price for this one, $29 is what I paid for it. You can't get them off the website. The Triple Threat Pack comes with an electronic call inside the pack. Uh, worth the investment, $29.99. This one, Night and Hail Cottontail, you can buy them at a Wally's World near you, uh, $10. You might be able to get them for cheaper in the United States. Thanks for tuning in and watching my video. I wish the best of luck to you.